Over the last few years, I have found a keen interest in the different aqueduct systems that bring water from the places that it originates to Southern California. Essentially, there's three aqueducts, the Los Angeles Aqueduct, the Colorado River Aqueduct, and the State Water Project, built in that order. The Los Angeles Aqueduct was first, and that got a lot of my attention. And one of the things I never really knew about the Los Angeles Aqueduct was that there was a big civil engineering disaster that happened at one of the storage reservoirs along the Los Angeles Aqueduct, and that effectively ended Mulholland's career. So the story goes like this. William Mulholland was asked to go to the dam to do an inspection, to look at a leak and assess what to do. The dam had just filled completely 10 days prior, putting a lot of pressure on the dam structure. Now, the thing that Mulholland did, Mulholland did a mistake was he increased the height of the dam without changing the dam design at the foundation. This ultimately created more downward pressure and created uplift through the bottom of the dam in the bedrock, which created the dam to be unstable. This disaster killed over 400 people throughout Los Angeles and Ventura counties. And that's why I care about this a lot, it's because I've been a lifelong Ventura County resident and I had no idea about this disaster until I became fascinated with the Los Angeles aqueduct. So I decided to make a bike route and I decided to ride this route on the day that the dam collapsed. So that's what this video is about. It's about riding the path that the flood took to get from the dam site in St. Francisquito Canyon down to Oxnard Shores. It's about 60 miles and I had a lot of fun. I got to learn more about a part of the county that I wouldn't normally bike through. And I have found that biking through new places you get to experience them in a different way than you do in a car. And the towns of Somis, Fillmore, Santa Paula, Piru, it was so awesome to experience them on a bike. Anyway, here's some footage that I filmed uh, while riding the flood path. And, you know, I really hope to turn this into something that I do every year and I can get people to do every year. Here's the dam site. Here's my mom who just dropped me off. <laughs> but there is what used to be the St. Francis Dam. So going through this mountain, this is the start of the St. Francis Dam flood ramble. I am riding the flood path that the St. Francis Dam took when the dam collapsed 95 years ago today. All right, behind me is powerhouse number two. This is the second power generation station on the Los Angeles Aqueduct in the St. Francis Canyon. Um, you can see the pipes here that deliver water to the turbines that are in this building. This building was destroyed uh, in the dam collapse and they have since rebuilt this as this is a part of the Los Angeles aqueduct and generates a lot of free power for the city of Los Angeles. Creek bed before it hung a right down into the 
the Santa Clara River Creek bed. So, this whole area completely underwater, 50, 60 feet high. Just incredible to imagine. They're so cute and uh, yeah, I don't know, have so much potential. Anyway, this is a good bike way. I love riding new class one bike paths. Rail trails would be cool to see this rail turned active and be getting people from these towns down to Ventura. It would be cool. These two bridges in Fillmore are in commemoration of the train bridges that were swept away during the flood. The Sespe Creek was flowing, which was really cool because it reminded me what the landscape would have looked like while emptying the flood water. And these statues are to commemorate the two police officers who rode around town warning people about the flood. Now riding on the levee of the Santa Clara River, which is pretty full right now considering we just had some rain. Pretty sweet. There's no other way to put this, but I'm exhausted. I'm coming off two weeks of zeros, jumping into 62 miles. Well, that's the end of the St. Francis Dam Flood Ramble. I am at the Ventura Harbor which is right next to where the Santa Clara River meets the ocean, which is where the flood outleted to. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I had two zero weeks before this ride. So all things considered, pretty good. Uh, we got five hours, one minute of moving time, 63 miles, and only 822 feet of climbing. So all things considered, pretty good ride. Uh, pretty good time. Wish I could have filmed a little more. Wish I had people to ride with, but you know what? It is what it is, and I'm doing the things that I said I'm gonna do. And at the end of the day, that is what this year is about for me. I set too many goals in 2022 that I did not meet. And so, cheers to the first one being met this year. St. Francis Dam Flood Path Ramble in the books. So this was really fun to do on the 95th anniversary and I want to do this every year. I want to also extend the opportunity for others to do this ride as well on the next anniversary. This is something that I'm very passionate about. I want to give people an opportunity to not just learn about history but to ride their bike through it and to really have experiences that are impactful and make you appreciative of the simple things that sometimes we take for granted like having water in our faucets anyway 
thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoy the montage of footage from the bike ride and i hope you stick around i'm really trying to get videos on the internet i've got a lot on my hard drives and i'm just trying to get them out so that i can uh, share what i'm passionate about and have been hoarding and scared to put out um, but also so i can free up some mental space and create more stuff